students, welcome to ECLMU Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the relationship between physics and other subjects and we looked at how physics is related to chemistry, physics is related to biology and physics is related to technology. And under technology, we looked at how physics is related to the field of medicine and the advancement in medical equipments like x-rays. We also looked at how physics is related to telecommunication where it has reduced the world into a very small village where you can send and receive information within fractions of seconds. Then we looked at how physics is related to defense where the knowledge of physics is applied in manufacture of defense weapons like guns and many other things. Now, in this lesson, we are going to discuss career opportunities in physics. Career opportunities in physics, these are the careers or jobs that one can join after acquiring the knowledge of physics. My name is Albert. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to define a career, define a course, and then define an occupation. And then I will expect you to state at least 10 courses offered in universities and colleges that requires the knowledge of physics. And then finally, I would like you to understand and appreciate the diverse application of physics in different industries. A career refers to a job or a profession that one has been trained for and they intend to do it for a very long period of time. So for you to say that you are doing a career in a certain area, then you must train for that a career and you must have an intention of doing that job or being in that profession for a very long period of time. And a good example here is your able teacher of physics, Mr. Albert, um, in a teaching career. And then another career in this case is medicine. Another one is engineering or even electrical technician. Now, a course refers to lessons in a particular subject like in this case the subject is physics so the lessons you are undertaking in physics after a long time you are going to join a career in physics and then you will learn several courses and after you are done with several courses for a long time then you will join uh, what we call an occupation an occupation now in this case refers to a job or a profession so the three terms, career, course, and occupation, are related in a way that a course, these are lessons which are taken in a particular subject. And after undergoing these courses, or after attending these courses, you are going to join a career in universities or colleges, and you will train it for a very long period of time. And after training, then you will intend to do a uh, this job or an occupation for a very long period of time. We have several examples of courses offered in universities or at university level uh, that require the knowledge of physics. Like in this case, one can take a bachelor degree in education science. In this case, after undertaking a bachelor degree of education science, you become a physics teacher physics teacher. So if you are taking a course in physics, then go to university and take Bachelor of Education Science, you become a physics teacher like Mr. Albert. Another degree course that one can undertake in university is Bachelor of Science Civil Engineering. This civil engineer, these are people who construct roads, design houses, and even construct bridges. As you can see in this photo on the screen, these are civil engineers who are constructing a railway line. 
another career that one can pursue at university level is bachelor of medicine and surgery and even nursing when one pursue bachelor of medicine and surgery one becomes a doctor doctor these are people who diagnose and treat diseases at hospitals then when we have nurses these are people who work under uh, doctors so when you pursue a bachelor of medicine and surgery course or even nursing you become a medical practitioner where you are going to serve uh, patients and human beings examples of courses offered in colleges that require the knowledge of physics include diploma in mechanical engineering where you become a mechanical engineer uh, we have diploma in computer science where you become a computer scientist then we have diploma in water technology then we have diploma in laboratory technology where you can work in different laboratories like in a physics laboratory in this case so we have many many other courses that require the knowledge of physics and i want you to make a list of about 10 courses that can be offered at college level we call them diplomas and 10 courses that can be offered at university level that is degree courses apart from the one that we have discussed in this uh, video after pursuing those different courses at university level and at the college level one can join a career or a profession in different fields and one of the field we are going to begin with is the field of engineering and in the field of engineering we have many many types or uh, categories of engineers and the first category of engineers is civil engineers civil engineers these are engineers who construct roads construct railway lines or even construct bridges another category of engineers is electrical engineer as you can see in this photo these are people who repair electrical cables electrical or install electrical cables electrical lines and even repair electrical or electronic machines we have medical engineers medical engineers these are people who repair medical equipment like scanners x-rays when then we have the icu beds these are the people who repair medical instruments we have agricultural engineers these are people who and all who can assemble and even repair farm tools and equipment like tractors and even construct farm structures we have environmental engineers we have chemical engineers and then we have computer engineers computer engineers these are type of engineers who can repair computers and even program uh, different computer computers other careers opportunities in physics is you can become a meteorologist by studying uh, what we call meteorology you can also become an, a physics teacher if you study education as we mentioned earlier you can become a surveyor if you do a course in surveying you can also become a geologist if you do a course in geology or even become an astronomer if you do a course in astronomy like in this photo you can see an astronomer people who study the universe and other heavenly bodies like planets and satellites you can also become a pharmacist if you do a course in pharmacy a pharmacist is are people who manufacture uh, drugs so if you do a course in, in a pharmacy you become a pharmacist and this course requires a strong knowledge of physics especially in measurement and accuracy and precision so students we have looked at different careers that requires the knowledge of physics and we have discussed many courses that one can pursue at university level that is degree level and also we have discussed the diploma uh, courses that one can pursue at colleges so 
in the next lesson we will discuss laboratory laboratory and laboratory rules and that is the end of our lesson today welcome to isilimu learning simplified